Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a return viewer, thank you so much. Uh, please think about hitting that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. And if you're a return viewer and subscriber, uh, my humblest and deepest appreciation, sportsman overwhelming. Uh, today, uh, we had a request from a subscriber asking how to make a kite shape. He does not have the, I guess, uh, in gyms, if you go to the gyms menu, uh, you can use the um custom gym builder uh, right here uh if you have 3.0 3.1 3.2 3.3 you can use this here uh but uh i think it may be 3.1 actually uh but if you have the 3.0 you, you'll have the gym and that's probably i went ahead and took this and locked it uh on a, a, a different layer so i'll go to my curves and then uh grab a uh a curve we'll change it to yellow and we'll just kind of go up here and trace out this thing here we'll keep it all individual because we're going to need it individual uh later anyway so we'll just uh just keep it uh, all individual we'll go back to our curves uh i'll put a link to all these different because uh, kite shapes come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes and faceting and there's a bunch of different ones with grids like this that'll show you how to how, how many facets and where they're at and uh that kind of thing so it'll help draw you i'll put that on my uh, facebook uh a users helping users page a group page so if you go to my youtube uh, home page uh, on the banner at the top uh it'll over to the right it'll say facebook users helping users just click on there and you can sign up for the group and get all of these different uh, faceting styles and shapes for kite shapes uh it's already up there actually so let's just keep on moving here and we'll just go in here and then uh click on on all these uh upper facets right click bringing back everything after i snap it into place and of course i have my uh o snaps on and uh end snaps and i'll hold down shift this time for this one and then click there click there bring it down here click there click there just go around work my way around the the gem the stone there to there there, hold down shift over to around here. Oop. There, hold down shift. There, right click, bring it back. There. There, and right click, bring it back one more time for this here. Okay, so we have that, and they're all uh, different shapes, right? Uh, so at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and... Uh, do the leveling out right so we have a facet at the top that'll be the center one there so i'll go ahead and click these two outside ones on both sides hold down shift and click these other ones so i make sure i have all those and then those will have to come down a little bit right now you could take this cut this put it in your top view cut this put it in your uh, front view cut this put it in your side view uh and you could actually do a bottom view uh you can change it to a bottom view if you wanted to uh but really that one's real easy uh so i have them here uh and then i'm just going to uh, extrude them down just a little bit it doesn't look like they go down very far so I'll extrude it down to something like that and uh, it looks like this one goes out just a little bit more right uh, and it has a slight uh, downward grade to it so I'm going to go ahead and select those uh, well first let's hide this not that this uh, I'm going to select all these outside ones and then I'm going to drop that just a little bit more, not very much, something like that. And then I'm going to uh, hold down Alt and duplicate that just a little bit like that. So that'll be our girdle. So you can see right here that that one right here, that third one, one, two, three, and then it goes down to the girdle and then it comes down the point. We'll worry about the point later. Let's just go ahead and keep on working on this up here. So we have facetings from here into that corner. So that's real easy to do, right? Uh, so we'll just go ahead and go back to our line curve and with our snaps on there to there, there to there, going around, snapping everything in place there there
Okay. Now, the more facets you have on it, depending on what shape and everything that you have that you're you're going for, uh, will you know, of course, uh, show up better. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind. And then if I bring that back, it's just a straight line on those corners going to those. So let's hide that again. And I'll go to my line curve and from there, right into there, there, right in, there, right into there, there, right into there, and there, right, there, right in there. Okay, so we have that top shape, right, going around. And then, of course, these here, it's just straight down. That one looks a little strange here. Let's zoom in, see what's going on. Oh, the other side, okay. Uh, and then there, there. And we've got this one here. And this one here so we should have them all let's check all the top ones out there yeah that looks like it comes out really far though we'll have to keep an eye on that later at this point what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and select everything go to transform and put it on center so put it to c4 uh, and then I will go ahead and take it and I'm just going to bump it up a little bit, something like that. Uh, and then I'll go to my curves menu, uh, grab a point from my point object and put a point and I'll just put that point right at C4. And then I'll take that point and, you know, you have to measure your stone if you have a specific size stone, but I'm just going to take this one down to about there, something like that. Uh, and then what I'll do is just go back to that line and then uh, connect everything to that uh, point, right? So go from that end to my point there with my point snaps on, that end to the point there. And if I go here, that end to that point. And if I go here, that point to that point so that'll be our bottom facets right and if you look at the diagram there it is right there exact same thing right looks like it comes back a little bit further i can fix that real easy so i could just maybe grab that point and maybe drag it back a little bit go ahead and get rid of those and do it one more time so grab that from that end to there, that end there to there, that end there to there, that end there to there. Okay, so something like that uh, to get your uh, kite shape right. Uh, so let's bring that back one more time, take a look at it. Yeah, it's a little bit back further, right? So that's that looks good. That's our bottom. Here's our top and our pavilion facets. Okay, so we'll turn that off. We looks like we have everything out there we need. Uh, so the first one, uh, real easy, we'll just go ahead and take all those top ones there and we'll go to our surface and do a planar curve. And we'll change that, uh, we'll change it to green here and we'll give it some color. So we'll take that one and put it on green, all right? And uh, let's see, let's go ahead and start going around here. So we don't want to do the uh, parametric sweep two because then we'll have to come over and change all those all the time. So we're just going to go do the sweep two non-parametric here. Uh, grab this curve here and just start sweeping uh, everything to close everything up. And I'm not going to do those pavilions in the middle. Uh, it'll just delete me a step for these curves here. For picking my uh, curve. So from here to here. Here to here. And our last one. This one here. This one. This one and this one and hit enter 
Okay, so we have all those. Let's close that up right click. And now we'll need to use that point, uh, right? So we'll click this one and then we'll come down here to our point and select that point there and it'll close that up. Give us that facet. Uh, so we'll go here, first rail, second rail, profile and point pro oh grab this one and now point down here okay and enter and we'll do that one more time here it looks like uh this rail here that one this profile and point profile right there okay so that's all that and that looks like it's a little too long doesn't it and we'll, we'll we'll give it a go see what it looks like uh so i'll right click uh the two sweep two first row second row here to here enter enter i'll click this one first instead of that one and that one there and that one enter oh kind of messed up i did something wrong there let's make sure i grab the right curves uh not that one first this one this one this one and that one there we go and work our oh forgot this one so let's do that one more time point enter and now let's grab this one here. Enter and this one here. Come back to this one because you see it pop open. So that means it didn't grab it. And from here, what we can do, those are just straight down. So we're just going to loft those. Uh, from here to here, enter, enter, here, here, enter, enter, here to here, enter, enter, and here to here, enter, enter. Okay, so we have that, and it does kind of look a little strange there, doesn't it? It doesn't really look like, uh, so we'll do a little manipulation here in a little bit. Uh, let's keep on doing these curves. This time we want to take this one from this one to this one up here to our point. Uh, something went hinky there. Let's try that again. This one here is our first rail. This one here is our second rail. That one. And then, okay, let's try it one more time. A loft, I'm sorry. We can't do a loft. <laughs> we have to do a sweep too. This rail here, this rail, this one up here, and to a point. Point. Oh, okay, it didn't take that one. To a point. There we go. All right, and then do it again. This one over here, that one, that one point enter and this one here this one this one that one and point there enter and our last one here uh, this one over this side this one here our girdle and a point enter okay now those look a little strange right i think so so let's go ahead and take all that let's turn on our points uh and then now what i can do is just take those and kind of uh drag them in a little bit maybe give it a little bit more sh shape what it's supposed to look like uh and then drag those in there like that grab these over here do the same thing and we'll grab uh, these down here and kind of do the same thing we'll just bring them right back in so it gives it a little bit better realistic shape what it looks like i think 
Okay, and there, uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those points. Let's take everything and let's just join it all together. Uh, and then let's check our surface here. We have a closed poly surface. Let's get rid of those yellow. Let's take that, turn it to blue. And now we can go to render. If you go to our, your render mode here, uh, you go to your render mode here, it'll automatically be put in diamond. Of course, you're not getting a lot of light refraction because it's not uh, very... Uh, many facets on it right so uh that's why it, it depends on the stone that you have what kind of facets but you could always probably uh, if this works uh go go down to this and then hit enter and uh, you get something like that <laughs> let's put it on ray trace see what it looks like yeah so now you're getting a little bit of a diamond shape right uh but <clears throat> Yeah, you're probably not working with the diamond with the kite shape more than likely. Maybe it's an amethyst or something. Uh, so, uh, again, depending on how many facets you put on it will uh, determine uh, the the refraction and stuff like that you're getting. Uh, but the main thing is 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 getting the uh, the shape right. Once you get the shape, you can figure out. Uh, and the faceting, you know, how many facets you want. This one only has one, two, three, four, f four facets on the bottom. Uh, there's some other others in that uh, diagram list on the Facebook page that uh, are, are a lot different shapes, a lot different facets. You'll get more uh, out of it. So uh, check that out. Um, but hopefully that'll help you make a kite shape. Uh, and if it does, please leave a like, subscribe, and a comment below, and uh, good designing. Thanks for watching.